What's going on YouTube? It's WTF. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm about to show you guys the best place to do gym raids in Europe. Alright, so the Legendary Beasts have moved around this month. Currently, Sukon is in Europe and Entei is in the States, in North America, South America and the Americas. And in Asia, we have Raikou. So, currently I'm going to show you guys the best place to do gym raids where you'll always find full gyms or close to full gyms so you don't have to wait around to do gym raids. I've done raids in France and in England and some other places in Europe and I'll tell you guys my opinion on the best place to do raids and we'll also do a uh, Sukun raid in the later part of the video. Alright, so let me uh, get started and get right into it. So in my opinion guys, England London is the best spot to do gym raids in Europe, hands down. I'm always able to find gyms that are near full or full. I don't have to wait around, look for players. I don't want to stay around for an hour and not be able to have anybody in the gym. So currently the best spot to me is better than Paris, personally speaking. But uh, that's, uh, that's where I like to do gym raids. And I've caught enough Legendary Beasts in the game so far. So I'll just show you guys. Uh, Sukun is right here, so I have a bunch of those, and Entei is right here, I got a bunch of those going on, and Raikou, spelled that right, Raikou is right here. Wish I caught 100%, but I haven't caught 100% of any of the Legendary Beasts, but hey, I'll keep doing raids. That's to show you guys that yes, um, there's definitely enough gyms to do raids, uh, enough full gyms to do raids, so I'll show you guys the best spot. Uh, first off, Usually what I do, I'll show you guys the best map to use, um, but the first thing is I always want to know what time it is in that uh, specific country, uh, but currently right now in London it's 544. Uh, it's a good time to do raids there right now. I would suggest any time between 12 and 6 p.m. their time, um, but any time after 9 o'clock you're usually pretty good. Between 9 and 6 you're usually pretty good, but the best time is between 12 and 6 uh, to do gym raids in Europe. Alright, so it's 544, it's a good time to do raids. Raids usually stop once it starts getting dark, anytime after 7. All right, and next is the website that I use to find the gyms. And I'll show you guys on this map the best areas to do gym raids. Gymhunter.com is the website that I use to find all gyms. I usually filter from the left hand side. I only want to see level 5 raids, so I'll mark that, save the filter. And this shows me all the level 5 raids that are going on in this specific area. I would suggest, um, and oh yeah, the next thing that I usually do actually is type into the search London and then press enter and it'll take me to the center of London. Now I'm going to show you guys the best spot that I think to do gym raids on this map. Okay, The best spots are going to be between, so right where the, the cursor is pointing right now, this area is good, right here this area is good, and down here this area is good. So these are the best spots to do gym raids. I wouldn't go any lower than this area right here. But anywhere around here within this area is where I would do gym raids. I wouldn't go any lower than about right here. Uh, that gym that's underneath it that says like 30 minutes. I wouldn't go to that. I would go up in this area. Um, all these gyms right here. All these gyms right here. I wouldn't go any higher than where I have the arrow right now. Let me uh, find a gym that uh, we want to scoop over to. And... Hopefully, like I said, it'll be a full gym and uh, we'll be able to uh, do a raid for a second. Click on that gym and then I'm going to need to put the get directions and with these coordinates, I'm going to need to copy them over into Pokemon Go hack version uh, and put it under coordinates. So this is 51, 51, 60. So I'm going to click on teleport, teleport to 51, 51, 60 and then minus... 1032. Alright, type enter and move. And just so you guys know, uh, just to be able to do a gym raid, you guys have to wait two hours between each um, each time that you move from one spot to another. So you have to make sure you wait two hours. Uh, and if you don't wait two hours, you're not going to be able to do a gym raid, you're not going to be able to catch a Pokemon or uh, spin a Poke Stop. So if you move locations and you move far, lo you know, you move from one location to another. You have to make sure you wait two hours before you can do anything. Alright, so this is a gym raid with 55 minutes. 
and uh, let's go ahead and click on it and see what we get. Guys, so we got nine players in here. Let's see if I can get right in on time. All right, we got 10 players. Sweet. 20 seconds left, so this is going to work out really good. Uh, so like I was saying, guys, normally in these gyms, you can usually find active players always raiding. Uh, so that's why I really like this area, as opposed to going in Paris or somewhere else in Europe. I definitely think England is the best. All right, so we're going to do this raid. All right, so I went with the lineup that they had... Uh, given me so let's see uh see how well okay executor's doing uh pretty good here he's super effective which is really good and uh it looks like we got 12 players in here total which is uh which is pretty solid actually uh for Sukin, i would suggest in general to have at least seven players um i think as long as you guys got as long as there's seven players i think he's pretty uh he's not as tough to take out Somebody's got their Dragonite in the back. We got a Raikou fighting him. Trying to use my moves here. Alright guys, he's almost down. I just turned the volume on as well. Um, hopefully that doesn't disturb with my voice. But he went down just before he took my Lugia out. So that's sweet. I only had to go through two Pokemon. Getting some Revive, some Hyper Potion. Alright, so I got 11 balls guys. Let's see what we can do with this to try to catch him and it's a 1577 I'm honestly not sure if that's good or not I believe I know anything about 1600 is uh, in the 90s alright and I'm gonna do the the throw the perfect throw trick here you make your circle first then you wait till he does his move and then you do a curveball and aiming for an excellent perfect all right, let's see. One, two, three. Sweet. First throw. That's going to be the first throw bonus right there. Yeah. All right, we got a curveball. Excellent throw. And Pokemon caught. Hey, why did we not get a first throw? All right, in any case, all good. Got my first throw. Didn't have to waste any time. All right, so it's a strong attack. Strong. So he's under 80%, guys. Um... Alright, whatever. We'll keep them and, uh, you know, we'll keep going and try to uh, find a stronger one. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hopefully you guys think this is a good spot. And I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And thank you guys. And make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.